At Crockett High School, students are building a sustainable future with organic food, including aquaponics. Last year I worked with freshmen and I realized that they had no idea where their food came from in the grocery store. And so it was very eye-opening to realize that they don't even know where the lettuce that they eat in their salad comes from, what it looks like when it's growing out of the ground. So it's a really important experience, I think, for them to grow their own food and experience the process of it and the rewards. But the students started with, the, with our raised bed garden for the garden club. The stones were donated from, the, from AISD, which was nice. And then a construction department, we bought the mortar and then we mixed the mortar and then they came out one day at a time and, and laid in stone. You don't lift your back, you lift with your knees, your legs, so you just keep your back straight and you just bend your knees and then bend your knees back up. <laughs> we all have like our different tastes and things. Sometimes someone likes to build things or someone likes to do the math or someone likes to perfect things. The Garden Club plants, tends, and harvests the new raised beds. I've got one girl that's in the Garden Club that's in the construction technology class, too. It's relaxing, and it's like out in the nature, and you're just with your friends talking, gardening. I don't know, I mean, it's not like everybody's cup of tea, but it's just yeah. something all of us decided to do together. I guess, like, in the beginning it was really hard because we had, like, it was during the summer when we started preparing the stuff. Yeah, it was very hot. It was very hot. <laughs> and I forgot a hat. Yeah. I forgot to bring a hat. But now it's, like, really rewarding because we get to see all the plants grow and we get to see, like, what, you know, you reap what you sow and we're just, like, kind of happy. Mm -hmm. The flowers were transplants, the kale, the lettuce, but we also did have the, the seeds that we started off, which was the snap peas, and those were really successful. Everything here is organic, so it's like really, really good. We had kale, and they made kale chips, and I think they had it at the cafeteria, and everyone liked it. They're like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. they what is like potato chips, but better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were trying to grow carrots, and we actually have two patches where carrots are growing, and we have one in the shade, and it's not growing that well, so we're gonna have to move those or like just replant them somewhere else where they're growing like more successfully in the sun. We actually picked up a carrot that's pretty big, so we're waiting for the other ones to grow so we can harvest them too. They've learned to blanch celery with newspaper to fend off bitterness. We cut off like the leaves at the base of it, and we leave like just a little bit of leaves so it can continue, or continue doing photosynthesis at the top. And it'll keep growing, but the stalks will get thicker as we like keep moving the newspaper up the stalk. And then, of course, you have to have some place to, stu to store the tools, so uh, that was, again, part of our building project is building a small house for our tools. The courtyard gardens become a favorite hangout, thanks to picnic tables the construction tech team built. That was our first project, and so throughout the years, we've been improving on our ability for picnic tables. Uh, we, so we sold them for our program. That's how we get additional income to our uh, construction program. We have so many proposals for so many um, so so many teachers, they, they ask us, oh, you know how to do this? Um, I need this. Or like, I need a, uh, you know, a, a table or something. And we, we're always there, you know. We try to, we try to do the most that we can, um, also learning. One of their projects was building the aquaponics greenhouse. In an urban school like this, in the middle of the city, let's have our own aquaponics system. So I wrote a grant to the city of Austin, the Bright Green Grant. There's aquatic science that maintains the fish. There are uh, the garden club that maintains the plants and the lettuce that's growing inside the greenhouse. There is environmental systems which help determine what plants will grow best inside the greenhouse. Uh, there is also the art class that painted the mural on the back of the greenhouse as well and construction technology that built the greenhouse. We had to build a, a good strong concrete foundation to support this because we're going to have a lot of water, a lot of weight's going to be on top of this. So we had to build a good sturdy foundation. And then it's just like a house, a, a floor structure and then the walls. The difference is in this project we had, uh, we put plastic uh, over the top and on the face wall so we get a lot of, uh, a lot of sunlight coming in. You have a, a tank with fish that fertilize the water and the water is pumped up into the grow bed where the plants are and then the plants in essence clean the water and then the water it, is transferred back down to the fish where they re-fertilize it as it were. One of the state standards and one of the national standards that we use is monitoring an ecosystem and so the students come down here regularly and they check for 
uh, various chemicals, ammonia, nitrites, nitrates, pH. They also monitor the, the temperature, ambient temperature and water temperature. Kids were coming in, they're filling out the logs, they're taking the measurements. And in fact, um, it's pretty interesting which kids kind of take this leadership role. Craig especially was one of the ones that came up and told me, hey, it looks like they're having some, some problems. Um, and he was the first one that noticed this saddleback issue that we were having, this kind of bacterial infection that apparently happens. This is real world application of the stuff that we're learning in the classroom. They transfer that knowledge and they develop those skills in a real world environment. And as global climate change continues to spiral out of control, we're gonna have to have some sustainable ways to, to feed our planet. I feel like Gil mentioned um, accomplishing something and like seeing it as a reward and um, I mean people coming to see it and then they're very proud of it and then that sort of brightens our school and it means so much to us because people look at it and they're like oh our school does this yeah and it's pretty satisfying.